Hello everyone and welcome to the Cafe Academy. Today we're going to be going over how to build your coffee shop from the ground up. Now I'm very excited to be in front of you guys here today and I want to let you know that yes, you can do it. Yes, you can make your dreams come true of becoming the CEO of your cafe. You have it within yourself and the only thing that's stopping you is that you don't have the right information. That's right folks, knowledge is power. And I'm here today to give you valuable information that you will need to grow your coffee shop successfully. Now, I would like to briefly introduce myself a little. My name is Sean Randall, and I'm actually a business consultant here at the Cafe Academy. And what I do is help entrepreneurs build their coffee shop from scratch with zero dollars. Now, you may have seen me all over the place on YouTube, Google, Pinterest, Facebook, showing entrepreneurs how to grow their coffee shop with little or no money. And my goal as a business consultant at the Cafe Academy is to help you grow your business to success so that you can earn your first quarter million dollars this year from your coffee shop. Now, one of the most common questions that I always get from coffee shop entrepreneurs all of the time is how do I raise money to start and grow a coffee shop to success and why do coffee shops fail? Now, I have a question for you. Do you remember back in elementary school when they used to have book fairs for children's? I remember always going there with my family and we would see interesting books such as Captain Underpants, the Blue Ford series, and many books for children. Now, I remember walking in, I'm not sure if it was at the book fair or the school library, but I've always seen this quote that says, knowledge is power and the more you know, the more you grow. Now, at the time as a six years old child, there was no way I could make sense of it. It never occurred to me. The best time I remember as a child was eating Cheetos, watching SpongeBob, and if I was really bored enough, watch Dora the Explorer and surfing the web with those big blocky computers back then that would always make this sound. <laughs> And when I was in class, I was always staring at the clock, waiting to go to recess so that I could play with my friends and then coming back to class and staring at the clock again, waiting for us to leave so that we can go back home. But for some reason, as I got older, I keep remembering that quote when I was a child. And as I got older, I realized that knowledge really is power. And I realized this even more as I was on this journey to find out why coffee shops fail and why people are struggling just to make ends meet and trying to find out how I can save these entrepreneurs so that they can achieve financial success. And the number one reason I found out is that they were not given the knowledge that they needed in order to achieve success. And when you think about it, it makes sense. If you've never driven a car before and someone gives you the keys and says, drive this car down the street, what are the odds you're not gonna crash into someone else's car? Probably very low, but if someone shows you how to drive a car, the probability that you will drive it down the street without crashing into somebody successfully is high. Now, if you ever remember those quotes such as knowledge is power and the more you know, the more you grow, that means that you were probably born an entrepreneur and you were just going through your child growing phases until one day you become an adult and you can take on the challenges of the world. Basically, you're like Simba, just waiting to become a king or queen and become the person that people would like to admire. And hey, I am here today to help propel you towards reaching your goals. And you don't have to thank me now. Thank me later, a year or two from now, when you finally reach your success. Contact me then and let me know how things are going and let me know how your life is. I believe in you and I know that you have the ability to reach your full potential. Now, we have a course called the Coffee Shop Masterclass at the Cafe Academy. This course is going to change your life and assist you in making your first quarter million dollars this year from growing your coffee shop. You're going to learn everything that you need to know from raising capital to fund your business and how to attract customers to your coffee shop the minute your store is ready. Now, the only drawback about this course is that it is long and it is a tad bit boring, but I've decided to make that sacrifice because I would rather you guys have factual and practical information so that by the time you finish this course, you will start to see progression and success right away. I was more focused on making sure that you received a good return from your investment from purchasing this course. Now, originally the price was $1,685, but then I had a conversation with my team and I told them that I wanted the price to be lower so that everyone, including yourself, can have a shot at financial success by getting the course and making a change in your life. The coffee shop course price is $505.50. Now, the cool thing about this is that after you buy the course, there's a section in the course that I have focused a lot of my time on, and it has to do with raising money and building capital. I put a lot of my time and energy into this section because I wanted to make sure that once you buy the course, you can start raising money up to $200,000 to start your business. You will also learn about equipment financing so that you can have all the coffee machines and equipment that you need for free in the first year 
and then later in the next year, you can make monthly payments from the profits you are earning from your coffee shop. You will also learn how to get commercial space to house your coffee shop and learn how to negotiate with property owners so that you can have your first six months free of charge. And after your coffee shop starts generating revenue, you can make payments months after and build a long term relationship with your property owner. To get the course today, visit www.thecafeacademy.com. And when you get to the website, click on the Help Me Grow My Coffee Shop button and you'll be directed to the Coffee Shop Masterclass course. Now, I would like to give a brief introduction to the subject of market research. Why is market research important when it comes to starting your coffee shop business? The goal of market research is to find out who your competitors are and find out whether your coffee shop business will thrive in this particular location or in another location. So it's all about finding out where your coffee shop will achieve the most success so that you can earn the most revenue possible. Here's a quick example of how you should approach doing market research before starting your coffee shop business. Alrighty, so we're gonna draw a diagram here. Essentially, this is how we're gonna go, how we're gonna approach doing market research. So on the first, we're gonna create a first line right here. And the lines are gonna represent the streets. So we'll make a second line right underneath. So the first line is gonna be called street A. So we're just gonna get our text tool here. We're gonna put street A, A street. Put that right over here. Okay, great. Now the second line is gonna be B street. So we're gonna put B street right over here. B street. Okay, good. Alrighty, now on A Street, we're gonna have two competitors. So we're gonna uh, get a icon here. We're gonna put that there. So we're gonna put this image here. That's gonna be one of your competitors. So this is who you're gonna be competing with. Let's make that small right there and we put it right on top. Now we get another image. And get another coffee shop image. We're gonna desize it down. Okay, good. Now we're gonna put that on top. Right. So now, as we can see here, on A Street, you're gonna have two competitors, and on B Street, you're gonna have zero competitors. So now we gotta ask ourselves what are some of the strategies that we're going to implement to increase our likelihood of profitability when launching our coffee shop? Now, in this case, we have two choices that we can make. We can decide to compete with these other two coffee shops. To achieve this, we would have to come up with a very unique value proposition in order to gradually pull customers away from your competitors to your coffee shop. If you decide to start your coffee shop near your competitors and you don't have a strong value proposition, your coffee shop is more than likely to fail. So now let's assume that there aren't enough pedestrian on B Street to render your coffee shop profitable. Then your best option is to start your business on A Street. So now how do we create a value proposition to increase your likelihood of success if you decide to start your coffee shop where your competitors are. One of the first thing we need to do is to identify their weakness. We need to find out where they fall short and how we can rectify this through our business. Let's say for example that both of these coffee shops only sell coffee and they don't have sufficient food and bakeries for sale. If they're only selling coffee, we can capitalize on being a coffee shop that also supplies food and bakeries. Another thing we can do is to look at the reviews that both of these coffee shops have on Google and see what customers' complaints are. From there, we will be able to look for more weaknesses that they have and turn their weaknesses into our strengths. These are some of the ways to conduct market research. The goal of market research is to identify any opportunities in which you will be able to achieve success and to develop an action plan on how to achieve those goals. Now, if you're unable to construct a value proposition, the best thing to do is to not start your business in that particular area and look for somewhere else. When it comes to attracting prospective customers, they're always looking for the best of everything. And that includes the best coffee shop to go to. Some of the factors that involve a great coffee shops are the quality of the interior design, the staffs, and the quality of the coffee and products. Now, this is actually the reason why most coffee shop companies fail because they miss the important step of doing market research to assess whether their business is going to succeed in a given area. Because the best way to look at things is if your competitors are already satisfying your potential customers and you believe that you may not be able to compete with them at this point in time, the best strategy is to retreat and look somewhere else where you can dominate as of now. Then as your business begins to grow and you start to make investments and deals, 
you can go back to that area and completely dominate and beat your competitors. Now, if you're looking to start achieving your dreams by growing your coffee shop, get the Coffee Shop Master Course by visiting thecafeacademy.com. The Coffee Shop Master Course contains over three hours of valuable information that will change your life. This course is designed to show you how to start and grow your coffee shop with little or no money. You will learn how to write your own business plan, how to draft your own floor plan, how to finance your business, how to find coffee shop suppliers, how to attract investors to invest in your business, and much more. We highly recommend this course to entrepreneurs looking to grow their coffee shop and looking for practical step-by-step -step lectures that will take them from point A to point B. Now, what are some of the challenges that you are facing as a coffee shop entrepreneur? Leave your comment below and also hit the like button and click subscribe to stay tuned for future videos that will be helpful and add value to growing your coffee shop.